The appendicular skeleton is comprised of the upper extremity and the shoulder girdle and the lower extremity and the pelvis. Today I'm going to speak about the appendicular skeleton of the upper body. Hello and welcome to Two Minutes of Anatomy. I am Dr. Donald Bozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. The upper body appendicular skeleton is comprised of the upper extremity and the shoulder girdle. A single upper extremity includes 14 phalanges, which are the finger bones. There are proximal, intermediate, and distal phalanges. There are five metacarpal bones and eight carpal bones. The carpal bones are the bones of the wrist. There are two forearm bones consisting of the radius and the ulna. There's the humerus, which is the upper arm bone, and the shoulder girl consists of the scapula, which is the medical name for the shoulder blade, and the clavicle, which is the medical name for the collarbone. The appendicular skeleton is constructed for a greater range of motion and locomotion generation when compared to the axial skeleton. The appendicular skeleton directly articulates with the axial skeleton. The sternoclavicular joint, where the sternum of the axial skeleton articulates with the clavicle of the appendicular skeleton. The scapular thoracic joint is not an actual joint. The scapular thoracic joint forms between the anterior surface of the scapula and the posterior aspect of ribs number two through seven. The appendicular skeleton of the upper body consists of 14 phalanges in each extremity, five metacarpals in each extremity, eight carpal bones in each extremity, two forearm bones, the radius and the ulna, the humerus, and the shoulder girdle, which is the scapula and the clavicle.